a steady heavy rain causes usually friendly Spring Creek to snap. Local photojournalists record the rage. The storm caused five deaths, left many homeless, and ravaged the campus of Colorado State University. It was entirely too close a call for the staff who were here. It had six staff people in the game room, and they were mopping up water as it trickled into the building, and then uh, they couldn't see the water rising on the door because it was dark outside. But they knew that there was too much water, and they got out and missed the doors blowing in by a matter of seconds. We had some facility staff and students that were down there uh, Monday night when, when it was leaking and they were out there, they were down there moving materials and trying to keep stuff uh, away from the leakage and then they heard the wall groan and they literally took off and, and ran up the stairs. As they were running up the stairs, the wall caved in. And so I think we have to count our lucky stars and be blessed that um, that these, none of these students, staff, or facilities folks were injured or, or uh, that we didn't incur any deaths. This is the campus library, home to about 1.8 million books and periodicals. Everything's fine up here, but take a look. This is the like a buried treasure, a half a million library books lie trapped underwater. The materials are high-use materials, both in terms of books and bound journals. Slammed right up against the glass. The glass a river through the student center wipes out the year's supply of textbooks. The water was, in most places, 10 feet deep in the whole lower level, from the theater all the way through to the bookstore. Buildings, offices, and classrooms proved no match for the storm's fury. This is the, what was our library resource room at the police department and it just gives you an example of what most of the department looked like right after the flood. My adult life is in this. Seriously. 200 papers, 12 books, letters, files, stuff that can't be replaced. The two rooms that we work with, uh, classroom 3A, which is our little classroom and technology room, was uh, filled to the top, to the ceiling, and as, as we were our offices, we lost everything for the last nine years in Project Promise. Remarkable. I spent four years on this campus attending college here at Colorado State, and I can tell you, certainly in those four years, never saw anything like this. We lost all of our classrooms, all the offices, and the entire costume shop. And we had a small department with little money to begin with, and now we have nothing. So. This is the inventory list of all of the campus television equipment. Uh, campus TV studio is wiped out, and basically we have to go back and, and remember everything that we bought during the past seven years. Okay. For all intents and purposes, CTV is dead this semester, as far as we can tell. And that's too bad, because campus TV was the name of the best student newscast in the country last year. In the admin annex, which is the building that houses registration of records and student financial services, uh, we had water in the basement, so we've had to evacuate the building. We also lost power to the building, and so we've had to make do with what facilities we have, which is right now we're offering full service on the patio. Okay, we'll take them. This has been very devastating to the entire library personnel in terms of two years of, of, of a build, the construction of a new addition and the total renovation of the, of the existing facility and, and being in that kind of turmoil for two years and then for this to happen, I mean, it's got to be devastating to them. All these instruments will have to be chemically cleaned. The woodwind instruments are certainly more heavily damaged than the brass. We lost all of the marching band uniforms, so that's a major concern. All of the marching band music was lost, so it's going to slow things down, but we'll be ready. It was just a question of working harder. We lost everything. Um, our computers are completely obliterated, all of our files, all of our training materials, all of our dictionaries and sources, everything from our style guides to our design reference books, everything's just gone. There's the possibility that... Definitely there's something that happens when you lose everything that you know that um, when you're still there that it, it makes it more important to you. It's much more important now to put out a paper than it ever has been before. It's about the people and what the Lori Student Center staff did to try and save the Student Center. 
both at the beginning of this event and at the end of the event. The campus was so overwhelmed and so stressed with the magnitude of this disaster that it was clear that if our folks did not jump in the water and recover the essential stuff, they didn't try and get the water out, they didn't operate the pumps, they didn't provide the security of the facility, that it may not have happened. And I didn't, I didn't have to ask. The folks here in the Lori Student Center have such pride in this place that they just did. The folks who work here are the heroes for the Lori Student Center and always will be. But I do see an apple over there that I want to get, so I think this will be okay. Oh my goodness, there's just so much that's gone.